Ask any car enthusiast, one of the biggest controversial things you can ever do to a car is change the engine. Hell, look at one of my early followers, 4G63 NASCAR. Even though they bought the cars from Furniture Row Racing, and the fact that they gave out a lot of chassis to a lot of people and made a really badass car with their new engine, people still deem it extremely controversial. And some of the people who hate changing the engine more than anyone else is NASCAR officials. Now you're probably asking me, what is probably the most controversial time someone has messed with an engine? Well, how about the king himself, Richard Petty? In the mid-1980s, Richard Petty was going for his 200th victory. He was only just a few wins away, so any kind of win would be a huge moment for the King himself. In the Charlotte race, he was able to edge out his competitors, including Benny Parsons, as well as Darrell Waltrip. Richard Petty was able to score his 198th victory at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the 1983 event. The only issue was, NASCAR officials were going to do a big inspection on his car. And boy, believe me, there were a lot of problems. One of the early problems that they found out was that the left tires were on the right side of the car. This was clearly a rule violation and something that the team did to get a performance advantage. But when they went underneath the hood, that's when things got extremely controversial. Cubic inch limit for an engine back in the 1980s was 358 cubic inches. Richard Petty's team was at 381 cubic inches. That is almost 24 cubic inches bigger than the limit. So why didn't NASCAR just say, oh yeah, let's give the win to the second place car. He clearly deserved it since Richard Petty was cheating. Well, the second place car was Dale Waltrip and his owner was Junior Johnson. And if you remember Junior Johnson from a few episodes ago, you know that he was a very controversial owner. How did he respond that they were inspecting the cars? Wait, what? They're inspecting the cars? <laughs> Because of this, NASCAR was in a very rough situation. So what did they do? Following three hours after the post meeting, they decided to fine Richard Petty and the team a record breaking $35,000 at the time, as well as cost them 104 points to the championship. But the one thing that stood was the win. Just one year later, Richard Petty would win his 200th Cup Series race with President Ronald Reagan at the racetrack. The following week, NASCAR would make a rule change in the book that anyone who had an engine that was above the limit would be suspended 12 weeks or three races, whatever came last. So there you go, even the king himself, who's considered to many as one of the nicest drivers of all time, was even controversial back in his time. Just proves to show that one of the most controversial things you can do in a stock car is mess with the engine.